Chapter 3 One day, Naomi said to Ruth, I want to see you marry so that you'll be happy and secure. Now listen, a man named Boaz is our relative. You worked with his servant girls in his fields. This evening, he'll be winnowing barley on the threshing floor. Now take a bath and put on some nice perfume. Dress in your best clothes and go to the threshing floor. But don't let him know you're there until he's had plenty to eat and drink. Watch closely to see where he lies down. Then go, uncover his feet and lie down there. He will tell you what to do. Ruth answered, I'll do everything you've told me. That evening, Ruth went down to the threshing floor and did all her mother-in-law had told her to do. After his evening meal, Boaz was in a good mood. He went to lie down at the far end of the grain pile and fell fast asleep. Ruth quietly tiptoed over to him, uncovering his feet and lay down. Around midnight, Boaz was startled and he awoke. He was surprised to find a woman lying at his feet. Who are you? Boaz asked. I am Ruth, your servant girl, she answered. Spread the corner of your garment over me because you are a close relative by marriage, one who is my kinsman redeemer. Boaz said, Dear woman, may Yahweh bless you, for this act of kindness you are showing me exceeds the kindness you have shown to Naomi. You didn't search for a young man to marry, either rich or poor. My daughter, don't worry. I promise to do everything you ask. Because everyone knows you're a brave woman of noble character. It's true that I am a kinsman redeemer, but you have a closer kinsman redeemer than I. Stay here tonight and I will protect you. In the morning, we'll see if he's willing to redeem you. If he does, good, let him. But if he refuses to redeem you, then I promise as surely as Yahweh lives, I will. So sleep here until morning. So Ruth stayed near Boaz's feet that night. She awoke before it was light enough for anyone to recognize her. Boaz thought, No one must know that a woman visited me at the threshing floor. As Ruth was about to leave, Boaz said to her, Here, bring me the cloak you're wearing and hold it open. As she held it open, Boaz poured six measures of barley into it. He then helped a place it in her head to carry, on her head to carry. And she went back to Bethlehem. When Ruth returned to her mother-in-law, Naomi asked her, How did it go? My daughter, my dear daughter, how did Boaz receive you? Ruth told Naomi everything that he did for her. She added, Boaz gave me all this barley saying, You must not Go home empty-handed without a gift for your mother-in-law. Naomi answered, My daughter, wait here until you see what happens. Boaz will not rest until he has finished doing what he promised he would do today.